Hey everybody, Jared with Second Life Design. Uh, I'm gonna do a quick walk around of my small centipede tool work surface. Uh, the centipede tools are those instant up saw horses, um, work really well, they're really slick, they come in a few different sizes. Uh, if you don't have one, I would highly recommend them. They're great for uh, immediate work surface. If you have a small shop, large shop, whatever, they can serve a lot of good. Uh, they come in different sizes, four by eight, four by four, two by four, two by two, kind of whatever configuration you need. Um, I use a 4x8 for my primary work table, uh, and then I have a couple 2x2s I'll kind of use as needed. So, do a quick video on the small work surface and how I came up with it and how it works for me. If you have any questions, comments, leave them below. And follow me on Instagram at Second Life Design. And thanks for watching. Okay, uh, this is my small 2x2 two two centipede table. Um, the work surface itself is like 32 by 32 square. So not too big, um, um, these things will have a lot more stability than you think. You can really extend these out a long way before it gets really kind of tipsy, but I made this, I run into this situation a lot where I 4x8, um, I have a big tabletop on it. So I can't really work on it right now because I've got, I'm going to be staining this thing, I, don't, I need the work surface. Uh, what happens is I set clamps, things on it, and then the work, then the, the project I'm working on can get damaged and I don't want that. So. Um, I'm sure a lot of people are the same way where you're working on multiple jobs at the same time and so that's where I came up with this. I have a couple of these 2x2's. Two this, this design I didn't see anywhere, I just kind of came up with it. It works well for me. Um, I'll kind of go over it here, I'll set the camera down and you can kind of see how it functions. Okay, um, as I said, work service is like 32 by 32 there's a four and a half inch gap here, so it makes the overall height 36 inches. Uh, I inset the sides uh, by about three inches. did that for a couple reasons. So I can clamp things to the side without needing big clamps. I can get right in here, clamp this down, and it holds everything good and tight. These services are pretty solid, they're pretty stable, but it's still not a, it's not a big heavy Rubo workbench, but it's pretty good. Um, left it all open underneath, really all there is is two struts, two boards holding this up. Um, I just used the Craig jig and did some face nailing and that's how it's put all together. But it's big enough where everything can be hidden under here. Works out well, and I'm doing quick projects. I can just hide things under here. It will hold the domino when the fence is folded down. And I'm back to an empty work surface. So it keeps things off of the primary workbench, allows this open to like, come in the door, set things down, whatever I need. Um, these centipede tables are really sweet. I'd really recommend them. I'd, yeah, just get one. You'll find a million uses for it. So, any questions, any comments, leave me a comment below and I'll get back to you as quick as I can. Thanks.